Prescription painkillers work really well. In fact, drugs like oxycodone and hydrocodone are actually the best when it comes to medications for pain. But here's the problem. They make people feel great, so naturally they want more. And also, they don't just block pain signals. They impact other parts of your body too. The best painkilling drugs are called opioids. Kind of a funny sounding word, but they come from the opium in plants. Morphine and codeine, for example, are naturally occurring opiates, but there are synthetics as well. Opium comes from poppies. Think of the Wizard of Oz. Do you remember that scene where they have to run through a field of bright red poppies to get to Emerald City? But Toto passes out and Dorothy's all like, I'm sleepy. All these opioids work directly on neurons in your brain. They latch onto what are called opioid receptors. Makes sense. And there are four types, the mu, kappa, delta, and the OFQ slash N receptor. The mu receptor is the one that most opioid prescription painkillers work on. It's that mu receptor activation that blocks the perception of pain and also causes the feelings of euphoria. Honestly, the mechanism of action isn't fully understood, but when it comes to pain, it's believed that opioids bind to the receptor and block an enzyme called adenyl cyclase that makes the neuron less likely to fire and also affects the release of neurotransmitters like dopamine and GABA, which impact how you perceive pain. But here's the catch. The mu receptors aren't just in the brain. These opioid receptors are also on nerves throughout the central and peripheral nervous system. And that's why these opioid drugs cause a range of effects. Things like nausea, dry mouth, pinpoint pupils, itching, even cough suppression. That's why there's codeine in really strong cough syrup. Because these painkillers, they don't just kill pain, they activate receptors everywhere. For example, the mu receptors are also on nerves in the digestive tract. Opioids slow things down, but when it comes to the digestive tract, you want to keep things moving. Opioids cause opioid-induced constipation, or OIC, and it's a huge problem. In fact, after surgery, doctors usually prescribe painkillers and stool softeners at the same time because you're going to need them. But you don't want to take these painkillers for too long, not just because of constipation, but because opioids may literally change the brain itself. Using opioids for a long period of time causes neuroplastic changes, or changes in the brain connections and pathways in animals. And a couple of small studies in humans found that taking morphine every day for a month reduces the amount of gray matter in multiple parts of the brain. Gray matter contains the main bodies of the neurons. And physically, changing the brain is one thing, but these painkillers can also affect brain behavior. Another example, normally your body makes its own painkilling compounds to soothe itself. You might know them as endorphins. Well, endorphins bind to those same opioid receptors. Over time, prescription painkillers may stop the body from making endorphins because they keep these opioid receptors constantly activated. So the body downregulates the production of its own endorphins, and you may end up needing opioid drugs just to be, well, normal. And these are just a few examples of the ways that opioids affect not just the brain, but also the body. These painkillers are pretty fascinating drugs that really work when it comes to pain. But now scientists are trying to create more targeted drugs that don't hit receptors all over the body, that don't have all the side effects, and that don't cause addiction. We're not quite there yet, but wouldn't that be great? We can't do Seeker episodes without our sponsors. Thanks to Gray's for sponsoring this episode. Gray's makes snacking exciting by combining wholesome ingredients with flavors we all love to create over 100 nutritionist approved snacks. Go to Gray's.com and enter promo code Seeker to get a free sampler box delivered to your home or work. Did you know that some people never feel pain, ever? Find out why and how in this video. And what do you think of these so-called wonder drug painkillers that are now the cause of an addiction epidemic? Tell us in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more Seeker every day.